Today, Sea Dog here. Welcome to my channel, my high school doing students. Okay, so the last video, what I did was showed you how to set up this um, prong setting for soldering. So this, with this video here, I'm just going to show you how to solder it. So we're using hard solder and soldering each of those four prongs um, into position. It's being held really nicely by the charcoal block. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just cut some pieces of hard solder. So we're using hard um, because later, obviously, this basket setting will be put into um, uh, the ring shank. So, whoops, that little bit of solder just ran into the um, and towards the setting. So these are about two millimeters long. We don't want big chunks of solder, obviously, building up. Whoops, that one ran off. Um, we don't want too much solder on each piece, so on each prong. I'm going to cut, I don't know, six or seven. Just may, ho hopefully won't need all then, but this will be just in case we do. Uh, I don't want to have to sort of go scrounging for solder when I'm halfway through it. Okay, so I've got a whole lot of bits of solder there. Next thing I'm going to do is apply a little bit of flux to each of the joints. So obviously the f one of the purposes of flux is to attract the solder to where we want it to go but it's a fine setting and we just want a little tiny bit of flux on each join like that uh, now this one here just a bit more on that one beautiful okay the other two in there Okay. Now these picks, the, the ones I'm using here, the ones we use at the school are titanium so the solder won't stick to it. Really important when you're doing a fine job like that. Okay, so I've got the flux, got it all set up, got my solder bits of hard uh, hard solder. So I just need a bit of flame, a small flame. So the inner cone you want about 3mm long, the inner um, blue cone, a nice gentle flame. So I want to say the inner cone, the, that little blue section in here is roughly three millimeters um, long so it's probably half as big as what you'd normally use for your other joints. First thing I'm going to do then is just give the whole basket setting a bit of a warm up. I can see the flux uh, bubbling away on each of the joints which is good. It shows me that it's right where I want it. And I'm actually just going to warm a little bit of the charcoal around it too. That will help the heat reflect back into there, into the setting. So I pick that up. Now, we want the solder to be picked, to be collected right on the end of the pick. Well, that's better. Got it on the end that time. Beautiful. Okay, that one's soldered. Little ball on the end. It's not going on the end. Okay, that's better. Get this opposite one now. Beautiful. Solder. Mm, that one missed it. Okay, try that one again. It's better. That's got it. Now I'm just going to turn the setting around. Never solder, or as much as possible, don't solder blind because you really should be seeing what you're doing. That's good, that's got it. So I'm just going to go again, make sure I'm happy with them all. This one here, I'm just going to chuck a tiny bit more on there. Whoa, flew away. It's better. Okay, so it was this one. Yep, got them all, happy with that, turn the torch off, okay, now that, as you can see, that brick is extremely hot, so you, you know, because it's red there, but sometimes the red glow goes and you accidentally can pick them up, so you've got to be careful, it's probably going to need a bit of a nudge from a pick or something underneath, just to lift it a bit, 
just to pop him out. You, you might um, find that it destroys the charcoal block lifting this out, that doesn't matter. Um, obviously you want to try not to, but if it does, okay, so be it. Give it a bit of a wiggle. And it's lovely. So I've got a, um, a nice bale ready to go, or a nice uh, basket setting ready to go. The prongs look fairly evenly spaced. They look 90 degrees to the um, to that middle circle here, which is good. I mean, it's grubby because I've just soldered it, but in terms of its construction, I'm very, very happy with that setting. So that's how you actually do the soldering. Okay, good luck, and um, take it easy. Go slowly with it. And little flame, little bit of solder, little bit of flux, and everything should be uh, should go well for you. Good luck.